report it, you got into a, a different um, press breaker, and um, and these guys made the plays. Nisha, what were your emotions when you hit that spin move in the lane, and then at the t seconds tick down, it seemed like you were really fired up and a really nice environment. How did that win uh, kind of affect you uh, being emotional out there? <clears throat> Um, I just I just knew I wasn't hitting much um, during the uh, probably like the third quarter, so I just knew that you know I had to stay poised and stay you know stay ready for any moment. And once the lane cleared, I knew this was my time to kind of take it. And um, once I made it, I'm like finally. But no, I I thought it was um, pretty pretty good that I uh, thought about driving at the time because I was I wasn't hitting nothing at first. Not only did everyone in this is going to be a good test, two ranked teams uh, at this point in the season, but to not only win, but to kind of win in the kind of gut check way that you did and finish the game the way you did. What do you think it says about where this team is right now? Um, it just shows how how talented we are. You know, we play as a, we play as a team throughout the whole game, and we trust each other on the court. And it, it shows, you know, we don't um, we rely on everybody with the ball anytime. Um, <clears throat> Even when the shot clock goes down, we can look for somebody posting up or a guard taking it. But everybody trusts each other to, to do or make that play towards the end of the game. How big was it when you saw um, Destiny hit that three to kind of end that run? You broke the press and you got it to it. You got that shot. Did you kind of feel things changing at that point? Yeah, because, you know, we got to stay poised throughout the whole time. Both teams are going to have their runs, but we can't let up. And I thought um, Pitts was very confident when she shot that. She was confident when she shot that shot, so. Coach, you guys, you guys had a few days of practice leading up to the game. What did you do there during that time? And how did you see it reflected in the game today? Um, we just, um, you know, it was, it was nice to have a couple days. And we worked a lot on um, just getting ready for their pressure and getting ready for, for what they wanted to do. And uh, we got a day off in there as well, which was nice, which we get off our legs. So we wanted our legs to be um, as fresh as possible for today. So. Um, but yeah, we, you know, um, that and a lot of just working on ourselves too. So we're it's still early in the season. We still have um, some strides to make. So it was, it was good for us to have a, a couple days of practice. Tyre, uh, yeah, yes, you're doing very well on the boards. Are you getting stronger as the game goes on? Yeah, I would say so. Can you elaborate. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny, the Syracuse head coach said that he thought that you were the strongest rebounder they've seen this season, and they've played now four ranked teams, including Oregon. In your reaction to, to hearing that and maybe gaining that kind of reputation um, as conference season kind of gets closer? Um, yeah, I, I guess I would say it's a confidence booster, but um, I just feel like just playing my role and just like the little things rebound are so important, especially like in games like this that are so close. So. Lindsay, when you get down six in the fourth quarter there, what did you notice about the demeanor of the squad? It, like, it, it could easily just, you haven't been in that situation for all year long. So what did you learn about this squad, uh, the squad in that moment and the ability to come back? Yeah, I mean, we're gonna um, we're gonna play through it no matter what. We're gonna we're gonna fight. We're gonna keep we're gonna keep uh, keep going. And and that just uh, you know we, we stay poised. That's what we talked about all week. Um, no matter what, just just staying not never too high, never too low. And so. Tonight was a, was a great example of that because um, getting down six with maybe three and a half minutes to go, four minutes to go, could have they were they were amped up, they were pressing, and, and they were feeling pretty good. So for us to be able to keep our composure and, and make some big shots down that stretch was uh, was big for us. Did you feel like Lindsay, you had to stay kind of composed to like a <coughs> stretch where it was like turnover, loud basket, turnover, loud basket there late, where it's like. You know, you're an experience here yourself, and having to maybe use that same composure and patience you did as a player. Was that a, a, a situation you found yourself in? Well, I, I just I saw that they were um, for about three quarters they were we were fine in what we were doing um, against the press, especially in the first half. We were able to break it and get some easy stuff, and then once they turned it up and they were starting to get some turnovers, we knew we had to change something up and give them a different look um, because they had by that point, um, you know, they had been guarding this. Um, same type of look the whole game. So once we switched it up, we felt good about um, felt good about that. So that was the main thing, just just to figure out a um, a way to, to help us to be able to just get the ball across that court and get us into something. So um, yeah, they, they they challenged us for sure. They they really um, made us work, and that's what they do. That's what they do. So give them a lot of credit for that. They're they're a great team. Time for a couple more. Can you show?
Can you rank this game in terms of like the most challenging and exciting game you've played in your career? Um, I, I would say this is the most um, exciting game. Um, we've had we've had teams where we played really close games, but this one we had the crowd involved. We had the players um, really competitive. Everybody was competitive and everybody was fighting um, to get this win, and we wanted it. Um, we worked hard all week, um, staying competitive in drills, just so that nobody likes to nobody likes to lose, especially when you're working so hard. The first three quarters, you you up the whole time, and then they changed the momentum. We just knew that we worked too hard to lose this game. Um, for two years now, you've been one of the best offensive rebounders, basically, in the country. Um, what is the secret to that? I mean, is, is it an instinct, do you think? Is it something that you see in film? Is it just a natural talent? Um, I would say some of it is instinct, and you know, a lot of it is just hard work and the timing, just like one is more than the other team does. Yeah. Just going to seek the ball and not just ball watching. How much of it is that is just being relentless? A lot of that. <laughs> Lindsay, we talked a lot about your offense today, but what did you think specifically that the defense did really well today and kind of throughout the whole season? What have they been doing um, that has kind of changed your changed the goal for from an offensive-minded team to a de more defensive-minded team? Yeah, I thought I, I said our um, our pressure and just our our commitment to the game plan, our commitment to the game plan for forty minutes was on defense was was really outstanding, and so that's the reason why we won. And so um, these guys have just. Been bought into every game plan we've had, and this one, this one um, was obviously against a great opponent. We we knew that, and and so we just wanted to make it as hard as possible for them to um, to get into their stuff. Because when you let great great players um, run their stuff, they're going to be successful. So we just um, um, you know obviously it's great having having these two and Jazz and and Pitts and, and Al and everybody um, to be able to really. Locking in and focus on the scheme, and, and we did it to the best of our ability. Time for one more, if anyone has it. How, uh, how important was it for Jones and I to get ready with yourself, allowing six for them? Yeah, it was big. It was big, aggressive, and some of them at the end were when, when they were trying to, um, you know, come back. But but yeah, a lot of it was just being aggressive and and getting in the paint and and not and not settling as much against their against their matchup two three. I, I thought that we we got out and early we set the tone. Um, and Jazz got fouled early. He got called early, and so I really thought we were able to set the tone for being aggressive and not just playing uh, passive against that zone. Thanks, everyone.